Welcome on lads and let's welcome back to the King's Catalogue, where today I want to talk about a tremendous game that I've been playing recently, uh, Overwatch 2. I didn't do a full in-depth review of it when it first came out, as one, the King's Catalogue wasn't even a thing when that came out, and two, the full game wasn't even released, so if I wanted to do a full review, I wouldn't be able to, as there was no campaign then. But recently, Blizzard announced that they're cancelling the campaign, and they're changing it to a bunch of other stuff, so I thought, now they, we know that this is what the full game's going to be, I can finally do a review on it. Which is very disappointing for me, as a campaign always really, you know, improves the game in my opinion i think you should always have try and have a campaign in it but with all that said let's get straight into the review the story of overwatch isn't really a big one the campaign probably would have gone into that a lot more but the basic idea of it is back in there there's a big war with a robot group called omnis i think that's basically just the name for the robots and the Overwatch heroes are the people who fight against the Omnis. There's not a whole lot of detail, there's loads of little tiny story bits for each hero, but that would be just too long to do in this section, so I'm literally just gonna give you the cliff notes. Robots bad, heroes fight robots, heroes good. Then after a while, Overwatch ends up just being like an old, unused, like, police sector, which just isn't necessary, so they get shut down, and then in Overwatch 2, they bring back Overwatch. It's not really much of a story. They really have lacked in the story area. As I said before, the campaign would have been lovely, it would have flesh the story out because the story is all right like the base idea of the story it's all right but it would have fleshed it out would have made it more interesting would have known about more about each hero but no we, we won't get that we'll probably just get like a few little tidbits every year now speaking of heroes this is probably overwatch's strongest point uh the heroes in this game are great i think they're all at least usable there's not many heroes that you play them and you're like this is the worst hero I've ever played and there's a great variety of heroes for like every play style so and they're constantly adding new heroes as well which keeps the game feeling fresh. So there's different ways to play it. There's new ways to play it every season when they add new heroes. You know, they get patched as well, so they change how the heroes work sometimes. And the gameplay is just, like, fun. The heroes really do help with this, like, the whole the whole thing. If Overwatch was just a shooter where you'd make a class and then you play as your hero, I don't think it would do very well. I think it really, really is built upon these heroes. My personal favourite heroes I'm going to give a little shout-out to are Moira, because she doesn't have to aim, fly around, shoot balls, to heal your team, you know, crazy way i love playing moira baptiste he's also a really fun hero i mainly play healer personally uh, i'll go into the different classes in a second uh but you know you've got for tanks you've got doomfist is fun remarcher is really good for damage you've got bastion soldier sojourn there's a lot of damages in this game so actually yeah, i'll talk about the classes now so there's three different classes in this game there's tank damage and healer in a team you have five people in your team there's one tank two damage and two healers and if you've only played overwatch one and you're wondering why there's only one tank it's because overwatch one there were two tanks but the game ended up just being like a shield fest and it would just be battle of the shields you know they even changed some of the characters to night of shields like orissa so it, in overwatch one it literally was two shields shields blocking and then damages shoot through the shields and whoever breaks the shields first wins i think it kind of ruined the game i didn't really enjoy overwatch one shield battle so in overwatch two when they've basically got rid of all the shield characters and they've just gone there's not a shield battle this is just battle of one tank so there's one big shield and you know if you play project there's a little shield as well but that, it's basically just one big shield you can have on your team or you might not even have that at all if your your tank has gone like doomfist or diva or one of the heroes that didn't have a shield but personally the switch from f six heroes to five i think is a great choice i would have personally done that as well because the, the the two tanks really did ruin it now, i spoke about it very briefly earlier but i want to talk a bit more about the gameplay the gameplay in this game is just okay the, the gameplay is not great it's not amazing but at the same time it's not the worst thing ever uh they do have lots and lots of different ways to play which is always fun so it keeps the game fun and if you constantly just play the hero you like it's fun but you don't get rewarded for just playing the hero you like you have to play a variety of heroes to get a lot of the rewards in the game which isn't always a bad thing it does encourage playing with variety but at the same time it is kind of just annoying when you don't really want to play this character but you kind of have to and there's a few heroes to me that really aren't enjoyable to play and there's a lot of characters that are like nerf and they just ruin the gameplay for completely for example moira got nerfed recently where if she gets stuck by anything she can't teleport which was like a big point of her hero so she can't like move around as easily and the game's design and overall look is just once again all right the game doesn't look incredible it doesn't feel like you're in an incredible setting there's some things that you go in you're like oh this is a cool map this is it looks all right but you never go in you're like whoa this place is incredible look at that whoa so sick like recently i played zelda and when you go to somewhere you're like dude this looks awesome what's going on here and everyone's you're just like oh okay let's just get rid of the objective it, it's just like a room and then it has a few things sticking out it's not really anything engaging 
The competitive scene for Overwatch is something I also want to talk about, as this game has one of the biggest competitive scenes in gaming itself. It's a very, very, very big part of Overwatch. Um, I'm personally, I'm not a humongous fan of competitive. I always prefer to play on ranked, but a lot of my friends I play Overwatch with have all tried to encourage me to play competitive because, you know, I'm, I'm not bad. So it's like, when we play it, we can do all right. But it just, it brings the worst out of me, I feel. I just get so, I'm not, I'm not like getting super angry smashing stuff. I'm more of like, if I rage, I'm just like a, I'm more of that kind of person. I just, I silently get angry or I'll just go for fuck's sake. God damn it. But I feel like the game really does encourage salt as well. Cause they've got like sprays, emotes, and tea bag. And there's like 500 different ways to piss someone off. But that's more of a me issue. Uh, the competitive in this game, it's all right. It's just, it's not amazing, but it's all right. I'm, I'm not going to give it any faults. Cause it's same as Overwatch, like unranked, but it's just, you get a score. And you get bonus points as well. So it's like, if you don't really care about your score, it's fine. The final thing I want to talk about is microtransactions. This game is stuffed to the brim with microtransactions. Overwatch 1 used to have a system of loot crates. Uh, that was well known. We know about loot crates. They got rid of loot crates because gambling. Which, I, I don't know. Loot crates were easier to get. They weren't expensive anyway. You can get good stuff out of them. I always get loads of good stuff in Overwatch 1 out of them. And in Overwatch 2, they basically just made it, if you get enough points, you can just buy the skin which kind of ruins the enjoyment of it. And it's really hard to get these points as well. They do just encourage you to buy them, which is just like, no, I'm not paying, what was it, like £10 for one legendary skin. That's stupid. And it's weird because they'll make the gold points so expensive when you basically get the free points anyway through the Battle Pass. So if you want to play it for free, you can, but it's like, they're very weird about it. I love the five seasons of playing. I've had two Battle Passes. I got the first one. And I got the fifth one because I've been playing a lot recently and I thought I'd just get the Battle Pass to make it more enjoyable. The Battle Pass definitely does make it more fun. I, I do have to give it that. Uh, you get loads of skins, loads of sprays, but I don't think it's worth the price because the game doesn't really give you like anything that's important or anything that's incredible. Some of the skins are alright. I don't think the skins are incredible once again. As I'm saying, I'll go back to the game and design. The skins in this game, the skins in this game are just all right. There's some really cool ones. I'm not going to say they're all terrible, but there's some there's some decent ones. Uh, to conclude, there's just a few things I didn't enjoy about Overwatch 2. Like, I don't like how they basically made the same game. They just took a hero out because the whole point of Overwatch 2 was supposed to be the campaign. I know they've cancelled the campaign. And also with some of the maps, I feel like they were designed for two tanks and then they've just kind of like changed it. But, you know, it's, I guess that helps the game a little bit. So, with all that said, I'm going to give the game a final score of 7.5. It's alright. It's, it's a decent game. It's fun to play if you're in the mood for Overwatch. I wouldn't play it daily, even though the game encourages you to play it daily because it's like it's quite annoying and get very angry at it. With all that said, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. There's more kids catalogs on the way. I know I've not been making many of them, but there's not been anything to review really. But with all that said, thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video.